My name is Mavis Ndutua and I am the CEO of Kalahari Honey. Um, Kalahari Honey is a honey aggregator from Botswana. We train and supply uh, women farmers with beehives to help them uh, keep elephants away from the farms. And in return, we then buy back from the honey from them uh, by creating markets and uh, an income for them. And we process, package, and supply the honey as well as the honey wine. Uh, currently, we supply three other countries um, in the region and we've recently also started supplying our honey to the U.S. market. What I'm most proud of is um, working with communities, um, building communities, sustainable communities, because that's how economies are built. I mean, we, um, uh, small communities working together that's what builds bigger communities and sustainable um, communities, as well as balance between, you know, the earth, uh, life on land, basically, you know, the wildlife and the human conflict, the balance in that. The woman in my life who inspires me the most is my mother, uh, because, you know, growing up, I've seen her, you know, do a lot of things. You know, see, she has achieved She's not a college graduate and um, she hasn't been to high school, but she's always made plans. You know, she's, she raised us all and she worked so hard to build herself a legacy. And she, that has always inspired me because it taught me uh, the road that I later took in life, which is entrepreneurship, because growing under her wing, there was always uh, entrepreneurship lessons in the house. So I didn't have to go far to learn. My advice to the new uh, generation, to the young, uh, the youth, is um, to believe in themselves, you know, to stand up and, um, you know, knock in as many doors as uh, they can and do not give up on your ideas, um, you know. And uh, the most important thing also is uh, look for mentorship. You know, look around for people that inspire you because those are the people that are going to take you by the hand to the next phase in business uh, if you want to be uh, an entrepreneur. And um, because I sit in the committee for the African Union Youth in Agribusiness, I see that young people will have different challenges in different communities, but um, I always say it's up to us, the young people, to uh, make the change that we want to see in the world. Growing up, I was a very curious young person. I, my entrepreneurship journey actually started at a young age when I was at high school, where I used to write love letters for classmates at a fee. And back then, I didn't know that that was actually a business idea. My tips for pitching are um, always be ready to tell a beautiful story. You know, always have your product ready. And, um, you know, you should have like your 30 second pitch as well as your three minute pitch ready. And it is important to always have a pitch deck because you are going to meet people that are going to ask for a pitch deck. And uh, once you have that all in place, then you are ready to go because Pitching is not always pitching for potential investment. It could be pitching for partnerships. It could be pitching for um, exposure. There is different ways um, and different reason why one should always have their pitch ready. So, but the most important thing is uh, always have your pitch ready. And uh, if it's pitching for investment, have your ask ready know what your ask is because uh, investors will ask you um, what are you raising so you should be able to uh, in that point to tell them that okay this is how much i'm raising and for a b c d